hi guys so today is day seven and we are going to be checking the weight of this bed a lot of things have changed here and you're going to be seeing everything we're going to be taking the weight with this digital scale and we're going to be doing everything together so i'm also going to be answering the question is this the right time to change from the crumble feed to pellets or mash whatever you choose as you can see i'm removing wood shavings from these as the bears grow they tend to spill uh, or get wood shavings into their feeder but what you won't see inside is their poop which is the most interesting part so this is what the crumble looks like and before pouring it into the feeder this is what it looks like so it's tiny particles of about 2 mm particle size so this is what is right for the birds at this stage uh, from day hold to this stage and even beyond actually so let's quickly dive into all the things that i want to show you today interesting stuff and you're going to enjoy every bit of it Okay, because I know you can't wait to know the weight of our seven days old chicks. Let's quickly dive into it. Let's take the weight right here and now. But then before we do that, let me tell you about this digital scale that I've chosen to use. It has the horn button here. I want to believe that you are seeing everything. It has the horn button here and it's the type that you just hang. You hang it and then you hang a weight to it. But this, because I'm weighing chicks, I'm going to be adding this uh to it so i can put the chicks inside so i will zero the scale with this so the weight is already added when it is at point zero so then i will i'll be putting the chicks inside it so they don't escape and i'll be able to take the reading one special thing about it okay let me just put it on it's on now i want to believe you are seeing it so it's loading and then it's on yeah you can this is in it's in grams now so you can change it to ounces that's used in the us kg if you are measuring something in kg and then pound also used in the us but then let's use grams because we are working with chicks <clears throat> let's use grams so it's already at zero if i remove this now you see it is negative 165 so because this weight has already been added at zero and then the beautiful thing about this is once you put a weight and it stays for about two seconds or three seconds max it locks on the weight so that it stops to shake especially with something like this you know as they are shaking on the table kind of scale the reading tends to be going up and down but once you put it here this one locks it once it takes the actual weight and it locks it so even after removing the cheek it's still on that reading so you can take your record without losing the number so i found that to be very very useful very very useful but then one thing i also want you to know is that it only measures the gram scale uh it only takes the gram measurement in fives that is it can give you 5 10 15 20 25 30 145 155 160 165 like that so there's nothing like 12 there's nothing like 62 so that's what i want you to know so we might be losing some two grams three grams you know i guess it's just approximating the figures but i think that is cool for what we are measuring if i was to be measuring something in of uh maybe the drugs now two grams three grams 10 grams 12 grams then i may not be using this scale because it won't give me the exact um reading that i want yeah. in that case i'll be using this because the maximum for this is 100 grams and it can measure up to 0 0.01 as low as 0 0.01 and then up to 100 grams so you want to know the weight of the chicks let's find out so we have around 100 and we have 100 broilers here approximately 100 broilers here 
and we are going to be measuring up to like 20 so we have a representative sample but then when picking beds to measure their weight you don't select you don't select the small ones neither do you select the big ones a lot of people make the mistake of choosing the big ones they take the measurement of or they take the weight of the big ones and then they consider that as their average weight but that is a wrong thing to do you just want to pick them randomly you pick from the corners every corner of the house so in that way you are able to take a in that way you are able to calculate the average weight the average weight so i'm just going to begin with that right away so i'm just picking the ones close to me so i put it on it's on now and in grams so what do we have here this is giving us 235 I, as you can see it's stable already even if i remove this guy here it's still locked on to that number 235 so it's very easy i'm just going to return this guy now and take the weight of the rest so what i do before taking this next one this is 235 what i do is just press the on button once so it's back to zero 235 i'm going to write it down now and the second one is 210 it's locked again so you can even remove this if you want 235 210 235 210 and then 210 again it's locked again 235 210 210 i'll make sure i write that down before i forget so i'll be taking up to 20 weights right now so let me go write it down 235 210 210 okay actually i made a mistake just now because this is a small house i'm not supposed to throw them back inside so i don't pick them back again so i'll be leaving them outside the next ones i take now i'll be leaving them outside so i'm going to start all over again So very quickly because i've said this scale only measures in five that is 5 10 15 100 105 110 115 you may be thinking oh is it accurate then i'm going to show you something very quickly that the weight that i've gotten for the bears is either it is lower or exact so i'm going to check this charcoal i'm going to be measuring this charcoal here and then i'll compare it with what i'll get on the more sensitive scale so let's see what we have here gently gives us 80 i'm removing it and trying again okay it's locked so i'm trying it again 80 let's see what we'll get this time stabilize still 80 okay <clears throat> okay so and um, let's come here so let's come here and start this one I have to focus on the lights so we can get the reading come on start up one two go okay so let's have the focus here okay that's 0, 0.00 i'll put this on it don't forget it's 100 percent maximum as you can see it is 81.43 here so that did not just shoot it up to 85 instead it remained at 80. so some of the beds that we have at 190 might have been 192 191 who knows so this is to tell us that the scale will not give you more than their way so that's it oh yeah this is the part you want to guess what we have yes guess what we have as our weight after taking the weight of 20 birds out of 100 broilers guess what we have we have a whooping 197.5 grams that is the average weight is 197.5 grams as you can see we have 210 there 160 we even have 150 as low as 150 we have as high as 225 remember when i started measuring the weight i i think i got 235 as the first and i made a mistake and i had to start all over i didn't even get that weight here 235 is not among it this is 
out of 100 we have taken 20 is a very representative sample it's not like some persons that will just take okay one bread and two and tell you okay for example if i take that 235 and say oh the way this 35 that's not it this is real figures i'm not here to just fool you you know i'm here to give you real figures and this is it this is it for cop 500 giving us this that's a fantastic number it's a fantastic number and it's a good start it's a good start and one logic to this whole thing of weight is at one week to know that your bears are performing well they have to be around times four of the initial weight when you brought them to the farm uh, on day one these bears were weighing 47 48 49 50 some 51 a little uh, a few of them 52 average weight we had around 48 so 48 times 4 is about 192 and we have 197.5 that is we have even a little over times four of the initial weight and that shows that we are doing well we are doing well so a logic if you want to ever know what you should get at the first week of rearing your broilers it should be anything around times four of the initial weight yes so it's time to carefully return these guys back to the brother guide Come on now. They feel so warm, so warm. Even though it's about to rain, everywhere is kind of cool, but then they feel so warm. That's broilers for you. They are always generating heat as they eat the food. They are eating up as the body metabolizes. The food convert, converting it to meat. Okay, so that's all. So that's it, guys. We are making progress and the birds are doing fine. Please don't forget to give us a like if you think you like the content. And in case you are yet to subscribe to the channel, go right there and hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I drop the next upload. And in case you want to keep up on the Broiler Brooding Management series, please do well to check the playlist on this side so you can keep track of what has happened from day one up to day seven and i'm also going to be adding the other days to the playlist so that playlist is one thing you want to check out so that's it guys thank you bye